This upcoming round of AFL football holds a lot of potential, but none greater than the top of the ladder clash to put one team a game ahead of the rest. All this and more in the upcoming instalment of AFL 2018 season predictions, teams and tips. There is Argle Zero. What's going on, God Zero Nation? This is our God Zero. Welcome back to another installment of AFL Teams and Tips. Looking ahead at Round 9 action this weekend. But before we start, I want to thank you all so much for getting behind not only the Teams and Tips series, but the podcast series as well. Cannot thank you guys enough for all the love and support. Reaching out on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, giving me ideas to grow it and make it better giving me overall feedback on just AFL chat in general and to all of those who have joined the God Zero Nation recently because of these AFL videos welcome aboard thank you for pledging your allegiance to our God Zero and seriously cannot thank you guys enough for all that support but without further ado it is time to look at the teams for round nine and get our tips in kicking off later on tonight at Adelaide Oval the Adelaide Crows are taking on the Western Bulldogs. Looking at the lineup, both teams, big changes. Kyle Hardigan, Sam Gibson, Darcy Fogarty, and Lachlan Murphy all in for the Adelaide Crows. With Luke Brown out due to injury, Mitch McGovern out due to injury, Matt Crouch out due to injury, and Taylor Walker out due to injury as well. Sam Gibson debuting for the Adelaide Crows. Having a look at the Bulldogs lineup, Jackson Trengove, Easton Wood, and Jordan Roughhead all come in with Aaron Norton, the first year rookie, out injured. Lewis Young has been omitted, and Mitch Honeychurch has been omitted as well. Matthew Suckling plays game 150. However, I feel it's going to be on a very sour note, even though Adelaide are missing some top tier players. With those four outs, I feel Adelaide get the job done at home. However, this could be a potential upset if McRae can rally behind the team and get Bonsampelli and Dalhouse and Hunter and McLean and all those top elite players of the Bulldogs up and about. They could do some damage, but I'm going to tip Adelaide Crows to kick off round nine action this weekend. We head on over Saturday, the first game. Gold Coast Suns versus Port Adelaide over in Shanghai, China. You heard me correctly. The only change is Jacob Heron debuts for the Gold Coast Suns with Sam Day out on suspension due to that little mishap that went down in the last game. And it's good to see another young kid get his chance. So whether or not he relishes the opportunity, I'm not too sure. However, I think last week, pinching the win against Adelaide, getting the players that they've got back into the team, I am backing Port Adelaide to get the job done. Players like Jack Watts really need to lift. But having Tom Rockcliffe back in the midfield and coming back at top form, Wingard coming back in and kicking a couple of goals, Westhoff having a really good year, Robbie Gray getting off the chain. There is no way you can back against Port Adelaide against the Suns over in China. But we fly back over to Australia, over in Hobart, Bloodstone Arena, North Melbourne hosting the GWS Giants. North Melbourne going unchanged after an impressive game of football against Richmond last weekend. Looking at the GWS lineup, Tim Moore and Harry Perriman both come in for the injured Phil Davis and Matt DeBoer. Adam Tomlinson plays game 100. And I am going to go out on a limb here. Even though I predicted them to win the wooden spoon this season, this season has seen a lot of things go differently to what people have planned. I am backing North Melbourne to get the job done over GWS. Seeing what they did to Richmond last week, in patches when Richmond weren't able to get over the top. You have to back North Melbourne. Cunnington, 
arguably career best form. Ben Jacobs will go to the best player that GWS has to offer and absolutely shut them down. Ben Brown with Phil Davis out, he'll kick probably five goals, I reckon, quite easily. And the defense of North Melbourne have been up and about as well. So I'm backing the Kangas to get it done in Tassie. We head to the MCG with Essendon hosting Geelong in for the Bombers. We have Jordan Ridley, Matt Guelphie, Dylan Clark, Kyle Langford, and Matt Day. Michael Hurley and David Myers are out injured. Kobe Much is being rested, and Darcy Parrish and Ben McNeese both omitted. Jordan Ridley and Dylan Clark both debuting for the club. Dylan Clark in the VFL averaging about 30 possessions a game, so this kid is elite, and I'm keen to see him debut for the club. The only change we've got for Geelong sees Tom Hawkins come in and Asava Ratagalia out injured. He has been a very good young kid to watch for Geelong, but having the big Tomahawk back and the way Geelong have been playing and the way Essendon's been playing, I don't know how you can back against Geelong. Dangerfield, Selwood, Ablett, and then you've got the lower tier, well, not the lower tier, but the tier underneath the three godlike players. You can't, you can't back against Geelong. The Cats are going to get it done quite easily against Essendon at the MCG. Heading over to the SCG, Sydney Swans hosting the Fremantle Dockers in finally for the Swans. Lance Franklin and Dan Hanabry both back into the lineup. Daniel Robinson and Dean Towers both omitted. Nick Smith playing game 200. And with the Fremantle Dockers, Nathan Wilson and Michael Walters both back in with Taylor Duman and Daniel Pierce both omitted out of that lineup as well. And you cannot back against Sydney at this point. Lance Franklin comes back in. I'm backing him to have a huge game. He's going to kick five or six goals. Dan Hanabry, if he can get back to his top form, is going to go absolutely bananas. And Sydney, last week against Hawthorne, were nothing but impressive. If you back against Sydney here, you're an absolute moron. That's my personal opinion. Fremantle could upset, but you can't back against Sydney the way they have been playing their football when you've got two elite players coming back into the lineup. And Nick Smith is going to celebrate that 200th game with a very nice win. The last game, Saturday night, heads over to Etihad Stadium with St. Kilda hosting Collingwood. In for St. Kilda, Bailey Rice, Jack Sinclair, and Jack Loney. Sam Gilbert, Blake Akers, Jake Carlisle, all out injured. Bailey Rice debuting for the Saints. Looking at the Collingwood lineup, Scott Pendlebury, Alex Fasolo, Tom Langdon, all in. Ben Crocker, Callum Brown, both been omitted. Darcy Moore out with a hamstring injury. Jeremy Howe plays game 150. Josh Thomas plays game 50. And Collingwood are going to win this quite comfortably. They've been playing a very good brand of football as of late. St Kilda have been playing a very average brand of football as of late. And with players like Fasolo, Langdon, Pendlebury coming into the team, I cannot see Collingwood dropping this game. They're all going to go off the chain, these players. Darcy Moore injuring the hamstring. Very unfortunate. It's the same hamstring he's already injured this year. So hopefully he can get back on the road to recovery. But we're back in Collingwood to knock the Saints off to round out Saturday night. Kicking off Sunday at the MCG. Carlton versus Melbourne. In for Carlton. And these are extended benches, so we don't know who's going to play, who's going to get dropped, apart from the named outs. So keep an eye on the teams as they go. But Mark Murphy, Pat Kerr, Jacob Wiedering, Matt Shaw, and Jack Silvani, all named as ins. Ed Kerno serving the suspension for touching the umpire. Pat Kerr and Matt Shaw both debuting if they get selected. Mark Murphy automatically comes in for Ed Kerno, but if Jacob Wiedering's available, I don't see why he won't come into the lineup either. For Melbourne, Jack Viney, Cameron Pedersen, Jaden Hunt, Jeff Garlett, and Timothy Smith all available. 
Sam Weedman out injured. And Sam's been playing up forward. So I'm going to say Jeffy Garlett comes in. But if Jack Viney is fit, he's going to come back into the lineup as well. And you cannot stop the momentum Melbourne is currently running with. And I'm backing Melbourne. However, this is another game that could go 50-50. Carlton have picked up a little bit of momentum with their win last week against Essendon. And they could turn things their way and win two in a row. However, unfortunately for my Carlton supporting subscribers... I am backing Melbourne to continue their form. We head on over to Optus Stadium, arguably the biggest game of the round. West Coast Eagles hosting Richmond. Top of the ladder clash. Whoever wins this game will sit in first spot on the ladder with a game clear of the next best club. In for the Eagles is Jeremy McGovern, Nick Natanui, Dom Sheed, Lewis Jetta, and Kurt Mutima. Fraser McInnes has been omitted. He came in to replace Nick Natanui, so Nick Natanui automatically will slot in there. And I wouldn't be surprised to see Dom Sheed and Jeremy McGovern both slotted into that lineup as well. Brandon Ellis, Tyson Stengel, Ivan Soldo, and Sean Grigg have all been named for Richmond, and even though there was a bit of an injury cloud over Nankervis this week, he has been named as Ruck on the ground, so unless it's a late change, Nank will be playing. I've got to back my boys the Tigers here, but this is a big game. Zeta Gaming, Mask Bandit, and a lot of other people I know are West Coast supporters, so in my house it is going to be a very intense Sunday, but I've got to back the Tigers. We've been playing a very good brand of footy. I can't not back my side here, and I will always back them when I have the opportunity to do so. However, this is a real 50-50 coin toss. As long as we get a very good game of football, I'll be a happy, happy Richmond supporter. If we win, even better. If we lose and get absolutely smacked, there's going to be a bit of shame. There is going to be a bit of shame, but I'm backing the Tigers to get it done in a very close game. The weekend rounds out over at the Gabba with Brisbane Lions hosting Hawthorne. In for the Lions is Ben Keyes, Josh Walker, Sam Mays and Jake Barrett. Sam Mays, if selected, will play game 100. In for the Hawks, Mitch Lewis, James Cousins, David Mirror, Paul Fuopolo and James Warple. Jaeger O'Meara out due to injury. Mitch Lewis will debut for the Hawks if selected. And you've got to back the Hawks. You've you've got to back the Hawks in this situation. Paul Poplo fit, he'll come into the team. David Mirror fit, he'll come back into the team. James Warple might even come in for a bit of a run here. You've got to back Hawthorne to round out the weekend. They're playing too good a footy. And Brisbane, unfortunately, they've been putting in some very valiant efforts, Brisbane. But Hawthorne's game style, they're just going to get it done quite easily over in Brisbane. So to recap our selections for round nine... We are going with Adelaide, Port Adelaide, North Melbourne, Geelong, Sydney, Collingwood, Melbourne, Richmond, and Hawthorne. Next weekend is going to be interesting because the buy rounds are starting to come into effect soon too. But be sure to get your tips down below in the comment section. And if you want to reach out and have a chat to me about anything to do with AFL, description box down below social media links instagram twitter facebook hit me up guys some of you have been i love chatting with you all so be sure to hit that up but that is it for another installment of afl teams and tips thank you for joining me as always if you are enjoying this hit that like button show some love it'd be greatly appreciated get on board the god zero nation if you haven't already by hitting subscribe on the road to 500 subscribers i know with your support we will get there quite comfortably. As I just said, if you want to reach out, social media links are in the description box down below. Hit that notification bell. So whenever I go live or a brand new video comes to the channel, you get notified straight away. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here. Good luck to your teams this weekend. And I will catch you guys next time.